given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business. Matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. And they will not get... Wentz now on first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, they've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in because they could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, it would have been, been a different story. Long night and brought down but able to get it to their 30 yard line so first and 10 now from the 30 on the toss play Howard and he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well I think this one's going to be a face mask Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out it. It's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Philadelphia in the end zone. Fielded about a yard deep. They're set to go first and 10 at their own 18. Now it's Greer. That's caught. It's Jarius Wright. Back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. And these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the foot. I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. Completion and a first down. On second and seven, Newton, he's going to right and at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And they will eventually get him down, but he's... Here's Newton, escaping the pressure right. And he will score! Touchdown, Panthers! A three-yard touchdown! So the drive there took six plays. Had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it. Look at 2019 for Philadelphia. A lot of what-ifs for the squad, really. They went on a nice run, as you noted. Four straight wins. Won the game that they needed to down the stretch over the Cowboys in Week 16 to essentially three. Some worse than others. But my goodness, you look at the players this team lost over the course of the year. It was really unbelievable, and it really derailed what they had hoped to do. And let's just keep it to one position. Carson, down the stretch, he's throwing to guys like Deontay Burnett out of USC. Tight end Josh Perkins had to step in with the injury to Zach Ertz. And then Greg Ward, a quarterback at the University of Houston, who was away through the season, he became his primary target. So when you're trying to get it done that way and not throw it out. And this will be caught at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before he gets it. Single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. And he'll go out of bounds. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sport. Got him in. Open. It's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. And he will be brought down here at a... Just thinking about their season. November 3rd, they won in Tennessee. That moved them to 5-3. And then they did not win a game the rest of the year. Ace coming in from Baylor, highly regarded as a college coach, as a builder. Because you have to remember when Matt Rule took his first job at Temple, they were not. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us. 
but I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play does a lot for your confidence, does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he... Throwing on first is Wentz. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. How about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass. Zach Ertz that time, and that'll bring up second down. Now Wentz. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson. It's at the line, ready to go. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing? Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Room him around. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. It's coming. It's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. That's our ball. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe. Right? You're just feeling it. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Wentz. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it down it's deep so into enemy territory. So we've hit both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. 100 yards, we'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not. Now, the big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. McCaffrey. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle Terry. 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Now from the 33. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Throwing on second and 14. Newton, and they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. It's on a crossing route, coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. Now the throw on Thon Rivera sends out the field goal unit. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And we are all tied at 16 apiece. Has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And all that worked, but he stopped the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good on the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some tackle there, Luke Keekley. On second and nine. Wentz, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaq Top coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. And now here's a deep shot that's complete, and he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. To throw is Wentz. Flush to his right. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Trying to evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They'll get him to the ground at the... 
To throw on second and six. Wentz. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Working from the gun. Wentz. Buying time to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll wind up getting right about kept him under wraps. But on that play, they held him to a short gain. Gets this to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a game. Here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. A three-yard touchdown. Let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the, the 31 now on first and 10. Newton to throw. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. But get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Top defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. That just brings us right back to Richard. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. One with under a minute to go now in the football game. Complete to right. A heck of a play there on third down, but a stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. He'll look to throw. Yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on That's fourth down, this is a big call. The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up. And off now all even here in this fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taped to begin their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to hold up or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Try to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's not. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Arthega Whiteside. And right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This will be from 53 for the win. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you'd have to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's gone, you think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play into overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home.